Well, here we are. It's uh, end of 2023, we're around in the corner into the new year, and we're closing out our quarter four. So we wanted to, we've been doing all year this kind of video update and seems to be getting good feedback. So we wanted to kind of make the rounds and let you hear from all the voices throughout the ecosystem. Welcome to your quarter four Kinship Free Market Operations Update. This quarter, we were able to distribute 63,000 pounds of food to nearly 4,000 families locally, many of whom came up to me after the market and thanked me profusely for being able to supply their holiday gatherings with food. I wanted to share a really exciting piece of information this quarter. We were able to secure some funding and purchase a new to us 2020 Dodge Ram 2500 pickup truck. We've been using the 1999 Dodge Ram for the past several years and it served us very well, but we're very excited from an operation standpoint to have a new and improved vehicle. It's relieving us of a lot of responsibility that we had otherwise over the past quarter, and we're hoping that it will continue to serve us for many years to come. Well, it feels like quarter three just ended and here we are at the end of 2023, looking forward to 2024 at Wellside Community. Um, and we would like to share that our Let's Get Cooking classes at Harvest Hope Park on the last Thursday of every month have really just been a phenomenal success. And they've really become a party where we're embracing other cultures and community members are becoming acquainted with one another. So uh, we encourage you to join us on the last Thursday of every month with the next one being on January 25th at six o'clock p.m. at Harvest Hope Park. And then we've also closed out our Cooking with the Five Senses in the Garden program with the Dream Center. And so we'll be wrapping up 2023, but launching again in 2024, and are really looking for a consistent volunteer interested in working with kids that could join us on Tuesdays um, from three to five over at the Ebor Street Community Garden. So please reach out if you're interested. And then our research with the Urban Food Sovereignty Group and Urban Food Sovereignty in Tampa is wrapping up. And so we've really, really thankful for all those who participated and contributed to seeing food sovereignty in their community um, and look for our report with our findings around March, April 2024 to see how your input has really impacted or will impact uh, the Tampa Bay community. We will also be launching our Community Food Ambassador Program in 2024, formally in partnership with the Coalition of Community Gardens, um, thanks to funding from the Florida Blue Foundation. And so if you're a resident or work in the university area, we encourage you to apply or enroll in our Community Food Ambassador Program. We'll, we'll be learning about things like gardening, cooking, nutrition, and sustainability. And because of this uh, launch of this program, we're excited to announce that we have onboarded Dee Morales of A13 Hood Garden as our program coordinator for this initiative. Um, and so we're excited to welcome her into the Wellfed Community team. And finally, we'd like to invite you to cheer on Wellfed Community at the 2024 Social Venture Partners uh, Social Enterprise Pitch Competition that's gonna be held on Monday, February 12th at 6 p.m at the Tampa Theater. And so at this event, WellFed will be pitching its social enterprise, our, our effort to provide food education in Tampa Bay for the chance to win a grand prize of $25,000. And so please come cheer us on as we're really excited to be having, having this opportunity with SVP. Hi everybody. We're coming to a close on our last quarter. It's been busy just like the three before it. We've processed about $1,200, a little over in sliding scale repairs this quarter, and we've put 27 people on bikes in our earn a bike program. We could have had more, however, if we'd had more manpower here to help us get those bikes built. I've got a bit of a waiting list and the applicants, we can't do anything with them until we've got a bike and we need bodies to help us make bikes. So having said that, I'll put a plea out again. If you know anybody who can come in and volunteer a few hours, there's so many jobs here in the shop that they can do to help out to get those bikes ready and prepared for the, the service guys in the back. That would be super help. So send them in. We're happy to have them join us here in the shop anytime they can do it. Um, as far as volunteers go, I've got a couple that who show up repeatedly, which are such a huge help. In fact, my longtime volunteer for several years, Derek, Derek, is now a full-time employee here. He filled the position of our bike mechanic that we were looking for. He's been a huge help in terms of lightening the load in the service department, helping Mike out, helping build bikes, do everything. Um, invaluable, tremendous help. We're so happy that he's come aboard. So stop in anytime, welcome him, say hi to him, see what he's all about. 
So yeah, I just started here two, three years ago volunteering. Anytime I had available, I learned a lot, especially when Chris was here. I was just a dry sponge and he filled me up with the all kinds of good tidbits and tricks of the trade. So I apply them daily here and I'm constantly learning more. So I'm very happy to be here and I'm hoping to continue to be here for a good long time. Super. And having said that, it's an interesting thing because um, volunteers, quite often several of our volunteers have turned into employees. I myself started as a volunteer. And on that personal note, I would just like to express my gratitude, my personal gratitude for being allowed to be in this place and do what we do with the people that we do this with, um, for the people we do this with. This, as some of you may know, I lost my son in June of 2018. He owned a mobile bicycle business that I did with him in two years or two months before he passed. We popped in the store to meet everybody at Well Built Bike, see what the shop was all about. It was brand new. January of 2019, I showed up to volunteer and it wasn't long after that, that I realized this is the place I was supposed to be. For my son, for the community, for myself to give me a purpose. And I'm so, so very grateful to have had this opportunity. I look forward to another year, 2024 coming up, doing the same thing. And from all of us here at Well Built Bikes, have a happy and healthy new year. Isn't it great just hearing from everybody? I mean, I love these updates. Uh, by the way, I do this geeky thing every year where I survey my entire year and want to do like a year end review and recap everything and I pull data from whatever. But for the sake of this, like everyone just updated you on quarter four, which is great, which is what we're supposed to do here. But as we come to the close of 2023, I've got some, some random numbers I jotted down on some of the things that we're working on. So we shared a ton of groceries this year. Actually, we shared 90 tons of groceries this year. 180,000 pounds of groceries with more than 12,000 of our neighbors. That's a 59% increase than what we did last year. And if you put a dollar value to that, that'll be $346,000 worth of groceries that we were able to distribute into the community. Here in Well Built Bikes, uh, we were able to graduate 71 earners through our Earn a Bike program, which is just an incredible, that's 45% more than we were able to do last year. Um, and we also diverted 717, that's actually more than that, probably over 700 bikes from the landfill. And we invested $28,000 in, in distributed $28,000 in charitable services that we were able to do here through Science Scale Repair and Earn a Bike program. And man, WellFed is just a beast. It's just like impossible to really give you like the numerics. It's not like, oh, pounds of food. But let me tell you this, we've been watching this team grow as leaders get inroads into all this influence. They've got a U they're on a partnership with USDA grant, partnership with USF, UACDC, homegrown Hillsboro, major, major players and institutions for the sake of research, food systems development. And now they've been able to launch this incredible program, um, which they're calling the Food Ambassador Program. And they're putting people to work in the communities that we're working in as food ambassadors, food educators, people that are sharing about nutrition and cooking and, and kind of the, the heart making food make sense, which is what WellFed's doing. But man, I just did this like workers comp audit and had to like fill out like every single uh, person that they had worked with and employed or um, put to work and paid to do that. And I, was, I wish I could remember the number, I can't, but it was substantial, WellFed is doing tremendous work putting people in the community to work doing what they love and sharing their passion for food we're just so excited about that and really everything that's going on throughout the ecosystem all right there you have it we've had a really great year hopefully you've had a great year thank you so much for keeping up with all of our updates uh thank you for your support and so from all of us well built cities happy new year and we'll see y'all next year <laughs>